Joining me now is Senator Josh Hawley, member of the Senate Judiciary Committee and the Homeland Security Committee. Senator, your response to all of these efforts by Smith, the judiciary behind him, and the lack of oversight uh, given what's happened here with these cases? Well, Laura, I will just say that this is the most unbelievable, incredible abuse of the First Amendment in our Constitution that we have ever seen in American history. And that's no small thing, you know, because we've had some serious abuses in the past. But look at what this administration is doing. The special counsel who's totally and completely out of control. He's obviously doing the bidding of Joe Biden. I mean, he is going after individual citizens here. Let's be clear about this. He is trying to get the records of Twitter users who just liked a tweet by Donald Trump or who retweeted a Donald Trump post. I mean, this is unbelievable stuff. And I have to tell you, it reminds me of what happened in Hong Kong, what the Chinese Communist Party did there. You know, I had the privilege of being in Hong Kong on the streets with the protesters when China was in the middle of their brutal crackdown. And do you know what they did? They turned Hong Kong into a police state. They turned every CCTV camera all over that city on the protesters. They followed them on their social media. They tracked them on their phones. When you look at what Jack Smith is doing here, it looks like the same exact thing. This is CCP tactics, communist China tactics used against the American people all in service of going after this president's political opponents. And Laura, there's a pattern here too. I mean, we now have courts have said, federal courts have said that this administration has deliberately violated the First Amendment by coercing and working with social media companies. This is the president deliberately and directly ordering his White House to go to Twitter, to go to Facebook, to go to Instagram, and to pressure them to censor speech they don't like to take down posts about school board meetings, about COVID, uh, about uh, election issues, about the Hunter Biden laptop. Sen they did Senator, all of those things in well, order I'm sorry to, to interrupt, but, the American yeah. people. And Senator, the thing that I'm blown away by, and this is not directed at you, is how few members of the Republican Party have really stood up yes. and called this out for what it is. And, and as I said in the angle, silence is tacit approval in this case. When the government is used against the people who fund the government, that's tyranny. And they're calling Trump an authoritarian? They're, they're trying to scare people that Trump's going to execute people when he gets into power, if he gets into power again? I mean, where, where is the Senate leadership on this? Where is any leadership well, on this? There's no accountability, and you're absolutely right. I mean, this ought to be the number one issue. Laura, this is, this is what, how a police state behaves. I cannot emphasize this enough. I mean, this is the abuse of government power deliberately against anybody, anybody who disagrees with them, anybody who offers a political viewpoint they don't like. They have you censored. They have you tracked. They have you followed. This is absolutely outrageous. And the answer to this is people need to start getting impeached for this stuff. Alejandro Mayorkas, he needs to be impeached, the Homeland Security Director. Christopher Wray at the FBI, his FBI violated the First Amendment. There need to be consequences. But what we're seeing right now is, is as you say, it is silence. No. And no. there's nothing that's a bigger threat to democracy than this. Well, Senator, I, I appreciate your voice on this. I think the tacit approval is from senators who don't like Trump and they don't understand that they're next on the list. They're next on the chopping block. Uh, Senator, thank you so much.